Hello, Gemini and cross watchers alike. Guess what time it is? It is that time for your November to December read. Okay, I'll stop doing it now. Anyway, hope y'all are doing well. Gemini, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please check your charts. If this resonates with you, good deal. If not, do not worry about it. Just, oh, boop your nose and away it goes, right? Right. Sorry, you have to excuse me. Uh, habits must be made. Anyway, for anyone who's new to this channel, you want a personal read? That's in the description box below. All that info, right? First reads for free, and I do take tips and donations. Thank you very kindly. Boop. What you got? Nida, Wands Reverse. You're not taking action, but you are kind of sitting there screaming a little bit. Just a little bit, but that's okay. That's, that's just what you do. In situation, the Hermit. Analyzation. Virgo's card. Hiding away in the, in the dark for a bit until you feel adjusted. That's usually how I feel in social settings. It's just like, you know, uh, I, just let me hide in my corner. I like being a wallflower. I like being around where everyone's having awesome activities. I just don't interact with people like shit. Ah, I feel like you're kind of doing that a little bit. Page of Pentacles and the Wants and Wishes. Could be a Capricorn for a Gemini. A novice, but someone who can get the shit done. Then we have the King of Wands down here in the Obstacle and Challenge. Could be a father figure since all these kids are here. Right? Now, the fears and rejections is the tower. Um, what goes around comes around or what brings this cycle full circle is the Empress Reverse. Probably an angry mom somewhere. Um, letting you know it's not fair and she needs to speak to your manager. And the vibrate, well, not the vibration, but the beginning theme is the Ace of Cups. A brand new heartfelt beginning in all of this, Gemini. Or, or, or an apology, one of the two. Take your pick, because you're going to want one of them, if not both. Well, you'll find a way of getting both of them. You guys are smart. Hmm. There's no action being taken. Sorry, I'm day drinking. Don't mind me. Um, there is something with this Knight of Wands where no action's being taken, but I feel like he's also the obstacle, too, with the King of Wands as well. And I think you're afraid of facing a tower moment with this person. Like, I don't think you're afraid to beat their ass, but I do feel like you are afraid of a confrontation with them, which is why you're kind of, like, sitting back with the hermit trying to examine everything, trying to work something out, even though you really don't have a, um, clue what the fuck you're doing, because this is, like, novice. I mean, you are trying to put on a good face in order to deal with this tower that I think you're afraid of, but unfortunately... She's being bitchy, this empress, and she has her back, her head turned to you. Not even your back, just her head. And, and I think that kind of pisses you off, because it's just like, bitch, will you look at me? I have a fucking pentacle. Like, what more do you want from me? I don't know what you want me to do, right? Ah. Everything just came from everywhere. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, you might be feeling a little bit rough as well with the two doggies it's like hurrah hurrah <laughs> um definitely when it comes to dealing with a past situation as well and now you're kind of living the dream at this moment right however here's fucking becky the queen of what the fuck cops because i forgot what the hell that was for a second and she's got an attitude she's bored and like she's also a little bit like heartbroken or crazy, one of the two, and she's just starting shit because she's bored and stuff. Becky always looks bored in this picture to me. That's just how Becky is. Becky's a bored bitch. Becky, this is barbecue Becky this way. <laughs> For reals, man, you know, like, yeah, she just runs in and starts a fight. She could be a water sign or an air sign. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. She just comes in starting shit, but then, like, she ends up feeling bad because what she invested in... 
isn't going to work for her. And she sh I feel like she should have gave that shit up a long time ago. Hmm. So this Empress is kind of bitchy, I'll say. Okay. Alright. Knight of Wands. Ha! Huh. You get so many. Yeah, you get three. That's cool. I can do that. Alright, this Knight of Wands. First off, I'm just going to say, because it, it, it shuffled fucky, this card popped up, and this is like, this person's already free, but they're trying to drag somebody into the situation because they're too scared to make a move themselves. It's like, you know, if someone else ran in, the bird would probably eat them as well. But it would give this person enough courage to, like, leave these um, swords and the rope or whatnot. But this is, like, a fucked up situation. It's like, why are you waiting for somebody else to come in to save you? Or at least distract the bird just so you could escape when you can already escape. It's like they want somebody else to still come in with the mental trappings and shit, right? Anyway, this Knight of Wands right here, you know, he's screaming, but he's not doing much of anything. He's waiting for combat with you, um, but totally ignoring his intuition completely could be Pisces, right? All because it's like, I don't got nothing. Hmm. It could be somebody who feels like invested with you financially or some shit, Gemini. I don't know why. But it's like this person here, like, they say shit just to get shit happening. But it's like they're ignoring their intuition about, um, let's see. They're like, uh, they're ignoring their intuition that it's ruining their reputation, I will say, with these Nine of Pentacles. Because this way, it, to me, it's like more about financial. The other way, it's more emotional. And I feel like they aren't paying attention to their reputation, how they're coming off and all that shit, right? So the situation with the Hermit, Gemini, you know, you are trying to come to some sort of decision with this shit because, you know, um, controlling McTroller Pants is trying to control everything in your vicinity, I feel. And you aren't having that shit. It's like, I'm not going to be like, you know, I'm not going to be watched 24-7 or told what to do 24-7. Y'all can just fuck off with that shit, you know? Like, I don't know if people could do that to you anyway, Gemini. You're kind of a free spirit. I'd feel bad trying to trap somebody, but that's just me. I, I think that's my Aquarius moon talking. Oh, actually, that's my Sag rising. I apologize. Anyway. Uh, this page of pentacles and wants and wishes, you want to try to fix something, I feel like, because you can't get over what's going on, and you are still fucking clueless on what the fuck happened. For reals. You're just like, what? Oh my lord. What? I forgot to write all the titles in the book. I'll get it here in a second. Oh well. But you're confused. You're just kerfluffled, like... I don't understand what I don't understand. I didn't even, like, get a conversation in this. Like, you're wanting to work things out, but I feel like this is almost like a trauma bonding kind of thing. It's just like, why are these people treating me like shit? Almost. And then you're left wondering if you did something wrong and if you should try to make things right to salvage something because you care about the person. That's a form of trauma bonding. You know, parents kind of do that sometimes, too. I don't know why I brought that up. Like, it's not like they mean to do that. It, that's more like, um... A disciplinary sort of thing when it comes to children unless they take it too far and like try to control your life after you're the age of 18 after that it's just like you know what like you can either get a job or get the fuck out of my house yeah you know, that's how it should be you know but it's like someone almost feels like to me it's like this is like adults so it's a trauma bond that's meant to make somebody feel guilty all the time even though it, it, it someone hit confusion and it was super fucking effective. Yeah. They're left confused, not even knowing what the hell to do. Gemini, this could be you, this could be cross watchers. Cross watchers, Twitter, you need to, right? Right. Um, just a lot of shit that just bothers you. Now, with this King of Wands, who is uh, the obstacle and challenge right here. Leo, Sag, Aries, any fire sign, if you will, even though there's only like three, but whatever. Um... 
Motherfucker doesn't realize that he's trapped himself in a room. Like, look, if you look at this card, in this corner over here, it's the same guy. And he's the one holding himself prisoner. And he wants to get out, but he's the one who's got himself captive because he won't give up any of his vices. And he, because he's sitting there thinking, oh, something's eventually going to come out of this. Still hopeful. Still having that faith. Hmm. It's like he trapped himself and he wants to get out because of whatever reason, but he won't give shit up because, like, you know, like, he's still hoping for the best. What a weird person. Oh, well. All right. The, the Tower and the Fears and Rejections. Let's see. What's up with it? We got the Emperor here. Someone was in control or someone wants to be in control with how this tower goes down. It, uh, by pulling somebody else in the damn situation only to get fetched up by the bird so they have a chance to run away. It's like they want a distraction. They want somebody to do whatever, you know, um, which is crazy. It's like they don't want to go down by themselves if they don't have to. But they wouldn't go out of their way to save the person getting snatched up by the bird. But I don't know if they see it that way or not, but that's how I see it. You know? Mm. That's crazy. Alright, this Empress. How this shit starts, how it'll end, how it'll complete the full circle of the cycle. We got the magician. Um, this empress is really angry, really bitter and stuff. She's trying to manifest something based on some sort of choice, which I'm not sure what that choice is, but it's like, why are we making choices? Like, what choice? What? I'm pulling one more because I don't understand. Like, what are you choosing to do? Pretend that everything is burning, that it, that you that you were asleep while everything was burning away. That's what you're trying. That's what that's what this empress is doing. She's like, oh, I didn't realize shit was going on. Like, oh. and it's just like you could literally smell. The, the smoke for an hour and a half before it got in your vicinity. What do you mean you didn't know? Oh, I was asleep. I thought you were, were a really light sleeper. Oh, well, when I get into that REM shit, like, it's, it's really hard to wake me up. And they go, what are you talking about? This went on for four hours. Oh, well, you know, well I, I was sleepy. Oh, my God. You know, like, it's one of those things where they come up with excuses for why everything um, crumbled and shit. Except for the reason for why they didn't give a fuck. You know? Like, you could ask them, why did they not give a shit? And they're not going to give you an answer, Gemini. What is the ending theme? There needs to be communication for this new beginning, dude. A lot of communication, because I feel like nobody's really talking. Everybody's kind of screaming. Everyone's um, has ideas in their heads about what they, what and how things should be. Like your swords all over the motherfucking place, you know. Swords and wands. Like what action should be taken? What thoughts are being produced? Like everyone's got a different idea of what the hell's supposed to happen, but none of it matches. I feel like, and that's no bueno. That's no bueno. Let's see. Up top with this energy. Justice might be getting played out here. You know? When it... Yeah, the lovers. That's your card, Gemini. You know, you might be at a point where you're just like... Everyone keeps coming up telling you shit. And you're just like, I don't give a fuck. I'm going to do whatever I want to do. And I'm going to slay this beast before it bothers me yet again. Because it's setting me up for failure. And I'm not a fucking loser. I'm going to build this statue with all this coins and shit. And then I'm going to emulate that shit in real life. Like, you're manifesting shit. And you're not allowing people to, like, uh, bother you with it, Gemini. Except for this one person in here who won't give you a fucking break, whoever that is, you know. 
<laughs> yeah. Um, whoever it is in the situation, like, they are desperate to be secure in things. And you're trying to get them to open up some way. But they're looking at you like you're deaf. If you really look at the placement and how these cards are right here. This dude's sitting in this position. This dude's in this position. This person's trying to get you to open up in order to let go of what makes you insecure so you can be secure. But it's like you're just facing forward being like, I don't hear a word. I don't know what you're talking about, you crazy, crazy cat lady. And then you're like, I don't own any cats. And then they're just like, well, I'll get you a kitty, and then you can't. And then you're all happy because you're going to get a pet, and it's like, oh, I'm going to name you Twinkles. Ooh. It, like, I don't know. That just came out of nowhere. So, anyway. <laughs> Wants and wishes with this page of pentacles. So, uh, okay, boomer. <laughs> Someone doesn't know how to use their phone or the GPS to get where they're going with the chariot reverse. <coughs> That's what that card's gonna be. My OK Boomer one. Because I love that saying. Because it just totally makes sense now. I love it. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, someone's lost in the sauce and they don't know where they're going. Um, Knight of Cups. Like, they got drunk and got dragged into town on their horse. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um... Dude, I feel like you're dealing possibly with a water sign, possibly cancer somewhere, because water has come up a couple times in here. Um, not prominently, but there have been, but like, you know, Becky, Becky showed up to the barbecue, right? And I feel like there might be a water sign, possibly cancer, who's around you, who has no idea what they're doing, and they're just drunk on their bullshit. If that makes sense. I don't know. That's up to you to decide. But someone might be drunk on their bullshit. Um, obstacle and challenge down here, Gemini. Boop. Someone ain't offering dick. They're just like, you see this? You're not allowed to have this. And this person... <laughs> and this person's like, yeah, well, mine's shiny, so fuck you. <laughs> Oh my god, what a dick fighting contest that is. <laughs> both like both of y'all are just like I got this. <laughs> oh, oh, thank you for that laugh, Gemini. Y'all are fucking I love you guys. I really do. <laughs> I like uh, obtain the best friend who's a Gemini now and honestly, like I haven't had so much fun until now. Actually, I have a few best friends who are Gemini's, but this one's new, and she's crazy, and I really like her. <coughs> Gemini, whoever you're dealing with, you're literally having a dick-fighting contest with, and you're both kind of bitter about it. Like, this one isn't really offering it, but he's holding it out for you to look at, and you're just like, well, I got my own pentacle, and it's shiny, so unless you bring me something better than this, I don't think I can fucks with you, you know? Damn. <laughs> Oh, that's funny as shit. Y'all are just having a dick fighting contest with each other. <laughs> Alright, this tower in the fears and rejections, right? Shit ain't complete enough for none of this to work out. Like, all of the tools... Like, imagine this is a witch circle, right? For any of you who are familiar with what a witch circle is. Um, you have to have an anthem, a chalice, a wand or a scepter and a particular coin or some sort of vestige of currency or energy flow because that's what all money is is just energy flow you know right and you cast the circle here you have all of your tools someone's missing the fucking wand the anthem is covered in peanut butter the coin got spent and and the chalice is full of fucking liquor like everything's just out of whack and out of order um, this shit's been, like, set up to fail, if you will. Like, the tools aren't there, and the ones that are there are all fucked up. And that's because someone, like, jumped to conclusions and just picked something that looked good, rather than actually examined everything. You know. Once again, someone was not listening to, um, anybody else and just did what the fuck they wanted to do. Let's see. Catalyst is when it's defending results. Yes. Let's see. 
Someone has to pay for an infestation, Gemini. But they're not letting anybody know some shit. They're not, they're not trying to, what? Okay, no, I'm snooping. Fuck you. Why did that pop up? Two aces on this. There is only two aces, right? If there was a third one, I'll shit myself. No, nope, that's it. Just two. Just two. What? There are two aces here. One saying that the truth won't fly, and the other one saying they're paying for the price. Mind games. Mind games. Mind games. Someone might actually take care of an STD before someone figures out they even have it. It's fucked up. And they're not going to say anything. But they can play that game really well. I would be really fucking careful with who you're dealing with, Gemini. Because I don't know who this motherfucker is. But they need to calm down. Right? Hmm. Very strange. But, that's your readings, Gemini. So, if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, subscribe if that's what you want to do. Uh, no pressure, of course. I greatly appreciate it, right? But I love your all's faces. I will see you later. You take it easy. Bye-bye.